breath. Did you get a haircut? Yes. <sighs> so the day before yesterday was the summer solstice. So we're going to do a little thing about that. I'm going to lead you in a little guided meditation sort of about that. Are we ready? So close your eyes, take a deep breath, and as you release it, let go of any expectations. Let yourself just be in the present moment. With your next breath, when you exhale, let go of any places in your body. Da, da, da. <laughs> let go of any places in your body that might feel stiff or uncomfortable. We just finished spring, and spring is a time of newness, a time of planting, a time of allowing ourselves to move forward. And we moved into summer. And when I think of summer, I think of sunshine and the beach and having fun, like a kid being out of school. So let yourself imagine, what would you be doing if you didn't have any obligations? Go into that child mind and yet be an adult still and figure out what would, it, what would you be doing? Would you be traveling? Spending a lot of time outside, going swimming, hiking, going to more movies than usual. What might it be? In a farmer's world, summer is like the brief vacation in between the planting and then the harvesting, where you just relax and let the plants do what they naturally do. So once you have it in your mind what it is that you would be doing, ask yourself, what's stopping me? It could be time, it could be money, it could be responsibilities to family or friends. And once you figure out what's stopping you, ask yourself, is this my truth? Or is this something I've bought into? And 
once you have your answer, just accept it. And then let yourself imagine that you're doing what you really want to do. And have fun with that imagination. And as you're having fun in your imagination, allow yourself also to imagine the infinite spirit being with you, working through you, as you.
So what I know for us today is that we allow ourselves to have a richer experience of summer this year, filled with laughter, filled with enjoyment, filled with a wonder, a sense of wonder as we see spirit alive, awake, and well in everything that there is around us, including ourselves. How grateful I am that we can do this on a personal basis and together as a community or with friends, family. I absolutely know that it's all divine energy at play and I'm grateful for this, and I'm grateful for us here this morning, and so it is. <laughs>